To service or replace your valves, begin by removing the valve plugs using a 19mm wrench. After removing the valve plug, inspect the o-ring for cuts, nicks, or damage. To remove the valve assembly, reach into the inside of the spring retainer with the reverse pliers. Using a twisting motion, pull away from the manifold. The top portion is your discharge assembly. The bottom portion is the inlet assembly. Last, using a pick, reach into the valve chamber and remove the valve seat o-ring. Before installing the valve assembly, lubricate the o-rings and backup rings. Insert the completed valve assembly into the manifold and press into place. Before reinstalling the valve plug, replace the o-ring included in the valve kit. Lubricate the o-ring and thread into manifold. Using a 19mm hex wrench, torque to specification. If servicing or inspecting the valve assembly, begin by reaching through the discharge spring retainer above the discharge valve using a flat tip screwdriver. Twist to create separation between the spring retainer and valve seat. Next, place the tip of the screwdriver between the spring retainer and valve seat and twist to separate. Inspect the discharge spring retainer for cracks, excessive wear, or damage. Inspect the spring for proper tension, excessive wear, or damage. Inspect the tapered surface of the valve for wear, pitting, or other damage. Inspect the tapered surface of the discharge valve seat for wear, pitting, or damage. Last, inspect the o-ring and backup ring on the discharge valve seat for cuts, nicks, or damage. Next, separate the discharge valve seat from the inlet spring retainer by hand. To separate the inlet spring retainer from the valve seat, insert a flat tip screwdriver through the inlet spring retainer just above the valve. Turn the screwdriver to create a small gap between the inlet spring retainer and inlet valve seat. Place the flat tip screwdriver in the gap and twist to separate. Inspect the inlet spring retainer for cracks, excessive wear, or damage. Inspect the spring for proper tension or damage. Inspect the tapered surface of the valve for wear, pitting, or damage. Inspect the tapered surface of the inlet valve seat for wear, pitting, or damage. Last, using a pick, reach into the valve chamber and remove the valve seat o-ring. Inspect the o-ring for any cuts, nicks, or damage. To reassemble the valve assembly, begin with the inlet spring retainer. You will notice that one side has guides for the spring. Place on flat surface with the spring guides facing up. Insert the spring, ensuring that it's in line with the guides, followed by the valve with the concave side down. Position the inlet valve seat onto the retainer and press into place. Next, place the discharge spring retainer with the spring guides facing up onto a flat surface. Insert the spring into the inlet spring retainer, ensuring it's in line with the guides. Place the valve onto the spring with the concave side down. Position the discharge valve seat onto the spring retainer with the tapered surface facing down and press into place. Place the discharge valve assembly onto the inlet valve assembly and press together. Last, install the valve seat o-ring.
Before installing the valve assembly, lubricate the O-rings and backup rings. Insert the completed valve assembly into the manifold and press into place. Before reinstalling the valve plug, replace the O-ring included in the valve kit. Lubricate the O-ring and thread into manifold. Using a 19mm hex wrench, torque to specification.